Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can send your finished Google form to your respondents, as well as organize their responses and view them in a couple of different ways. So here is a form that I have created. It was for teachers to give us some information how they want Chromebooks configured in their classroom. So I've finished adding my questions here. I have it all set up and good to go. And as you would guess, you're going to click the send button at the top of the screen. When I click the send button, I can send this to my respondents in a couple of different ways. So I can send it via email, which means that I would have to type out every single person's email. This is probably a helpful option if you plan to send this to maybe one or two people, but otherwise it gets a little crazy if you have a bunch of people that need to take this because you might be there all day typing out their emails. So the preferred option here is to use a link. So it always generates a super long link. I like to default it and shorten it just so it's easy for me to copy. So you can send it to people by link, copy, send it to them that way. As an FYI, whenever you're trying to send out a survey or a Google form to anyone, always send them the link that's generated from the send button and the link button here. Never ever copy the link at the top because the link at the top is not one that gives them a view on this Google form to answer it. It gives them editing access on your form and will mess up all of your pretty formatting and your questions. So always use the send button and the link button there to send it out to your team. The third option is to embed it. So this is really great if you're wanting to put this on a website or your LMS, you can adjust the width and the height here, make it however you want. So it's embedded. No one has to go and open up another tab on their device to fill out this form. All right, so I send that form out and I can see the results are coming in. So I already have some on this form as a little bit of a test run for you. But whenever results start to come in, I can get my responses tab here. And this is where they're all going to be populated. So you actually can turn on notifications for responses if it's something that's time sensitive and you want to make sure that you know when someone has filled this out. Maybe it's a Google form where people are asking for help or technology assistance or training of some sort, you can toggle on settings here on the responses view so you get an email anytime someone fills this out so you know right away. All right, so my responses are going here. So it always gives me a summary here of all of the responses, but I can also toggle over into question view and that gives me the results per question. Um, I can see individual response as well and print those if I need to. I can delete responses and manage them all from here. So this is one way you can manage your responses. And if I ever want to stop this from collecting responses, I can always toggle this off so people can still get to the form, but they won't be able to submit any answers to the questions. So that's something that's helpful to toggle on and off if maybe you're needing to pause and plan and move ahead. There's another way that you can view the results though, other than right here. So while Google will create all of these nice fancy little charts here, sometimes if you have a lot of questions or lengthier questions, it gets a little difficult trying to view them on this screen. So the next thing you can do is instead create a Google Sheet for all of your responses. So if you create a Google Sheet for your Google Form, this is always something that's available. Anytime you have Google Form, you can always have a Google Sheet that's made. It will open up this Google Sheet. You have that and you can do all of your fun filter views and any other options that you would like in a Google form. You can view them all right here. So another way to organize your results and your responses after you send that out. 